All right. Happy Monday, everybody. Sorry, it's a little late start today. I was still wallering in the bed, and then I left my headphones out in the car, and then it was locked, and then I was too lazy to come back in. So I was calling Beth to unlock the car. She wouldn't answer the phone. She finally answered the phone. So good morning. Hope everybody's having a great day. So look at this. The market is down 0.44%. Wow. And the weird thing is, it was up for a little bit, I remember, last night. And, you know, but it's just going down. So we're kind of an inside day, though. It's it's still in the middle of the 15-minute opening range. Um, look at this, y'all. I'm getting down into the levels. Is Matt in here? This is the levels. Matt, you'll recognize this. This is spots and markers, you know, Tony stuff down here that I hadn't used in a long, long time. And you can see these little blue things here. We're getting into levels that we have been to in a while. Because I don't use those anymore. This has been a while since we've been down here. So we're right at the overnight low or below VWAP. We're below cash open. The hourly mid is going down. The overnight high was here. So AD is negative 78. Volume is up today. Look at this, y'all. We've got some volume in here. People are trading today. Remember, we've been in the 3,900s and the what, low 4,000s. So here we are averaging about 7,300 contracts every two minutes. So volume is up a little bit. All right. So let's go to our big green monster. And today is May the 1st or 2nd, whatever it is. So we've got to redraw this, right? I don't know how much it'll move, but it's kind of cool. Last night I was looking, I was thinking, man, the big green monster strikes again. Look, isn't it amazing how our 20% line is, was resistance. Look at that. 20% line resistance. This is a 30 minute chart. And it just does what it does, right? It was so cool to see time and time again. We don't know how this thing works. God is my witness. I have no idea how this works. But it's amazing how often we see these lines that we drew at the beginning of April, how often these things work. Look at there. I mean, it's just you know, picture perfect uh, how this works. So we are fairly priced today. Let's see if we are after we draw our new big green monster. Now, the problem is I always forget how to draw this thing. Why? Because we don't draw it that often. I draw it like once a month. So let's see if we can remember what we're doing. Plus, I'm a little bit shady this morning. Shady, not shady. I'm not shady. I'm foggy this morning. A little bit on the foggy side. Got back late last night with the kids from old Kentucky. Had a great trip. And a great graduation ceremony. But uh, those kids, y'all, I was sitting there going, unbelievable. If I had a little bit of duct tape and a little bit of rope, I would have tied them to the top of the, uh, the van yesterday because they were out of control. Whew. Y'all know what it's like to travel with a five-year-old, two seven-year-olds. And most of the time, the 17-year-old and the 12-year-old are fine. And my mama. Now, my mama gets out of control a little bit, but uh, for the most part, she used to be too. All right, so we're going to delete our old big green monster. Goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye. So we're going to draw one. And we're going to use April actual prices on the monkey bars here. And we're going to project... Uh, some levels of fair value, oversold, overbought for the month of May. Let's see if we can remember how to do this. All right. First thing we do is we make sure we got the right thing with this little deal here. Now, your charts aren't set up for this probably if you're new. So all you got to do is do a little search that says Bobby, Sweet Bobby Draws Boobie Charts. So we'll draw them from the top to the bottom. Draw this one right here. And Matt always helps me if I mess up on these things. So Matt is in here, and hopefully the boss ain't in so he can tell me what to do. So then I'm going to right-click, and no, I'm, I'm going to right-click on this. I'm going to go edit, properties. We want to make sure we get it from the bottom to the right. Here's what I was telling you. We have changed our numbers, our coefficients. So if you're just using the FIB tool, on your thing, the retracement, your numbers aren't like this. So you're going to have to reset your numbers if you want to use this thing like we do. 
All right, so we want to make sure we get the top value and the low value. So the beginning point would be the low. Now make sure you're on the right month. Look, we've got to click right here, see, on April. So the low will say 4118.75. 4118.75. And our high value is 4588.75. Boy, Friday was a rough day in the market, huh? Wow. I'm like, dang. All right, now what we do, man? <clears throat> Now we've got to change our tool, right? So we change our tool to this uh, extension. And we start up at the 50% line. And we draw to the middle of this line. Somewhere in the middle. And then we draw up to the one, uh, to the zero line. Okay. If I'm doing anything wrong, you tell me. Plus, we ate like hogs while we were gone. So my weight's up a little bit this morning. So I'm not happy about that. That's what you're going to do. You only live once. All right, so then I'm going to right-click on this original retracement that we drew. I'm going to activate it. And then I'm going to left-click, and I'm going to drag the zero line up to this 200 line. And I know you are thinking, those of you that are new, like, what? in the world. Look, dude, I didn't come up with this. This is not mine. This is Blake Young's. So do a goofy search for Blake Young drawing charts. And this is what comes. Now we take the 100% line and we move it to where we started that little extension right there. Right? So we're going to move that up. So we get it touching that little red line that we're doing. Yeah, come on right there. Boom, chicka, boom, chicka, boom, chicka, boom, 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 escape key. Now we're finished with this thing, so we're finished drawing. All right, so we'll go remove this drawing. Now, let's name this thing. And we'll call this April for May. So we'll never get it mixed up. I don't know why Blake doesn't name his. If y'all are in there, tell him, just, Bobby said name on it, makes it easy. And then we're going to make it all green so we like cash color set color for all curves and we call this the big green monster so then we go back to our volume profile which now remember this is based off of market profile time at price but we like looking at this on a volume profile page which is volume at price now let's see what we got now we got it. i'm gonna move these field bands I like crawling them whenever they're on the end. Let's move those. Clean up our chart. Nice, nice, nice. So you see what happened is not much, right? We Our chart has moved down just a little bit because the price is going down. So we're still fairly priced, right? Wouldn't surprise us to see a move down to 4018.1. Wouldn't surprise us to see a move to where volume has really, really been working. But... But for all intents and purposes, we are fairly priced. We're in the FV zone. If we go here, we're overbought. If we go here, we're oversold. So we feel really, really good about where we are. All right, now, so we're fairly priced. All right, we did all that to say we're fairly priced. Now, here's what is really leading the charge. Now, remember, Bobby Genius back here said we are in a bear market. It was on this day right here. And then what did the market do? The market went chirp, 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 all the way up to the top of the linear regression channel. And now we went all the way back there because everybody was laughing here. Bobby, you are an idiot. You have no idea what you're talking about. And I really don't. I have no idea. And it really doesn't matter. But we are, y'all, going downward. You can see the slope. All you got to do is look at the slope. It doesn't take an idiot to say, this is bearish. This is bearish. So what we'll probably see are some, you know, moves down, moves back up, moves back down. But I think for an extended period 
of time. We are in a bear market. When will we be out of the bear market? Well, we'll eventually see our linear regression stabilize to where it becomes flat, and then this thing will start back up, but we haven't seen it yet. That's why I love linear regression. It just kind of takes the market and, and puts it into total perspective, total perspective. So top of the channel, bottom of the channel. And now we're headed toward the bottom of the channel. Doesn't mean we can't go up before we go down, but we are going down, y'all. We are going there. I really believe that. I believed it here, even though everybody laughed. You're going up, Bob. No, no, no. We're going down. All right. So with that said, Friday, we lost a lot of money. I don't say a lot of money, but we lost a lot of money. Oh, and I wanted to show y'all this. Someone pointed this out. I posted this in Facebook, and someone said, hey, your numbers are wrong. And what happened is on our little profit calendar, I had 68.74 in there twice, right? It was in here. So this number went down a little bit. I think it was, I had counted the 68.74 twice. It was in one of these little hidden sales. So now I fixed it. So the return was a little bit down from 3.58% for the month. Just want to make sure everybody knows that the chart was a little bit wrong. No, I didn't do it on purpose to make it look like we're making tons of money because I don't really care. Okay. All right, here we go. So what are we doing today? Well, we need to record our loss from Friday. It's going to hurt. It's going to hurt a little bit. But I don't think our losses was as big if we had just had, you know, SPY, 100% SPY in our account. I think we did better than that. So let's see if we can find that account. Here we go. See how much we lost over Friday. <sighs> Now, we got down to 99,634. Oh, behave. Hurts to even think about it. Let's see, what is our net lift today? Probably 90,000. Let's see. That's not that bad. But being so negative, Bobby, it's going to be fine. So, our account today is. That's not. Let's see, which account is it, Bob? So we're at 98,237. We're not too bad. So we are down $3,400. We were down $1,300 from that day uh, on Friday. It's ouch a little bit. And it, it is really ouch if you focus on that too much, right? You've got to focus on it some. It's your net lift. That's your account balance. Let's go to the monitor tab. Let's check out our get the right account here, Bob. Oh, Bob, oh, Bob. Let me see what our Greeks are. And we need to look and see if our positions are safe or not, right? So our Delta, whoa, 245.10. Oh, wow, 245.10. Wow. So you can tell the market's going down, right? Because market goes down, our deltas get increasingly higher. What is our theta now? Our theta is 227.48. And our vega is 326.43. What is our buying power? It has swelled some, I'm sure. Buying power is 44,508. So we're using 45% of our buying power. If the VIX is between 30 and 40, we should be using 40% max. So let's see what our VIX is today. You would think that VIX is going up. VIX is 33.98. So we should use, be using around 40% of our account. We're using 45. Okay. And it says I need negative adjustments. Now, 
keep in mind, this is a suggestion and not a, oh, I've got to get negative 392. It just says I am too long. This tells me, look, Bob, you need to do something to get yourself a little short. Okay. You're too long. All right. So what will we do? So let's go look there. And let's see how, let's just see how everything's doing here. Our ES positions are up today. So we're up 778, believe it or not, from what we were the other day. So it could have been a lot worse, right, uh, from what it was the other day. So we're coming back. So our micros are up. Our SPX that I always hate that we put on because it was losing, losing, losing. But, you know, I'm glad to have it on during days like when the market dropped on Friday. It's a good thing to have that on. All right. So let's see if there's anything that we can take off. Okay, so we know those are up. I don't want to take those off. See, we still got 59 days left on our hedge. We don't need to take that off. 112 Bear Fourth is up 16%. Aha, look at this one. 112 Bear Six. Wait a minute, does this have anything here? Why is this one not up as much as that one? This is a Bear Two that was put on before that one. Look at the bear six is up 109%, but it does give us negative deltas, right? <clears throat> Let's see if there's anything worse than that or better than that. Up 47%. Uh, you know, you're up $43 on that one. And that one would get rid of negative deltas, right? No, that is negative deltas. How's that negative deltas? Down 97%. What's that BSH diagonal doing? It ain't doing nothing because it come off. So let's take that off. Take that group. All right, negative 238%. Negative 100%. Bobby, don't you have a 200 stop loss? Y'all yeah, don't move stop losses. I just don't do it. Negative 230%. How many days we got left on that one? That's the one Matt got me into. Uh, that's down a good bit. Nothing to do yet. But one one third down 160 percent, down 197 percent, down 120 percent, down 302 percent. Oh, behave! Oh, 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 it's not looking good at all. One more six seventy nine. Maybe 63. Wasn't too long ago we'd come in and everything was just so profitable. The market's moved. We just got to be ready for it. So what are we going to do today? Down, 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 300%. Down, down, down. All right, here's what we're going to do. Now, this is going to be the equivalent of, you know what Tom and Tony does, right? So they'll go, uh, you know, the market's down. What do I do? You roll the untested side. Right, roll the untested side. So what we're going to do is we're going to claim our profits in the 112 bear six, right? So what does the 112 bear six look like? Let's look at the analyze tab. Let's go to MES. And let's go to single position, single symbol. 112 bear six, so we can just look what it looks like. Right? So here's our 112 bear six. So this is our bearish position. Here's where we are right now. I got all my price slices like I like them. Yes, I do. So here's our 112 bear six. And you go, why take it off, Bob? Because it's going to make more profit if the market goes down, right? And you said the market's going to go down. Well, I don't know when. So what we're going to do is effectively roll our call down, right? We're going to roll that short call down. So it's the same thing they would do, but it's rolling the untested side. I'm going to close this entire position and then I'm going to put on another one. Now, what I could do is close the, this, right? I could just close the call, the, the, the naked calls, and then, you know, uh, leave on this, you know, and just roll those calls down. So all kinds of options that we can do. 
with this trade. And y'all are coming up with all kinds of things. Y'all are writing in there doing three, three, twos, and, you know, all different combinations. And it's a very flexible trade, but this is a one, one, two. So let's see what we could do. Let's see, 46 days, 46, 20. So let's see what kind of credit we could get for this. I mean, if you can't get any credit for this, then why do it, right? But it's still got a pretty good credit here. I can get 13.75 for this. What did we pay for it? We paid $10 for this printer. So if we could close it at 13.75, that ain't bad. So let's do this, try to do this as one order. So then we gotta go to 46.20. Close those 46 20. Tell me a little fellas. What, man? It's the day's end. Even his job? Oh, God. Uh, it's the day's end. Yeah. Yeah. Family stuff, y'all. Family stuff. So here's the 4620s. Pray my brother in law's okay. 4620, we want to buy two of those. So we could do this for negative 50 credit, maybe. Let's see if we can get that for you. So we'd be giving a credit of $1.62. There we go, we got Phil. Wow, look at that. He would have thought. All right, so let's make sure about that. We brought in a credit, credit duplicate for dollar sixty-two right here. Dollar sixty-two. All right. So let's go find it. This is one one two bear six, right? One one two bear six. I'm a little bit scared, y'all. My brother-in-law didn't show up for work. He's going through a divorce. He's having to stay at a hotel. And uh, Frank, he's okay. That's unlike him not showing up for work. Uh, hard for me to focus. All right, one, one, two, bear six. Oh man, did I not put it on? One, one, two. Oh, that's you. Know, one, one, two, bear six. Come on, Bob, did you not do this? One, one, two, bear six. All right, well, let's just put it in. Let's see how much we did for this. One, one, two, bear six. I'm not sure that's what it said. Maybe they get someone in the hotel to go to his room. Oh, I hope he's okay. You know, because it's easy to go through depression and stuff with a, a divorce. And then what about Naomi Judd over the weekend? That's just terrible. Or last week. And, you know, the reports we're hearing is that it was due to her mental health and uh, that she, you know, committed suicide. That's some of the reports that I'm hearing. That we really say that. All right. So let's put it there. I can't believe I'm not doing my thing. One, one, two, three, or six. So this would have been both, right? Yep. This would have been a one, one, two. Strikes would have been. Wait a minute. One, one, two, bear fifth. That looks like it right there, doesn't it? Three, nine, seven. That's it. I think I just named it wrong. Let's see if I've got a bear fifth over here. One, one, two, bear fifth. What, Beth? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So 
Well, they have seen my brother-in-law this morning, but that's just weird. You know, he never would not show up to work. All right, so I'm shaking almost, y'all. Apologize. We need to be okay. All right, so this thing was just with, with misnamed. So let me call it here the six. That was as we found it here. All right. One, one, two, bear six. There we go. So we closed it for a credit of what was it, dollar sixty two? Sixty two. Credit. Yeah. Six right here. So we got out of this today. Two twenty two. We were in that trade for four days. Wow. So to make this a credit, I got to put a negative here, dollar sixty-two. So we made seventy-five, seventy-four on that trade. Seventy-five, seventy-four. <coughs> yeah, you know, everything goes along with family, everything's fine, and also boom, volatility. That green. There. Right, so that's green. So we made a profit of realized profit of 75, 74. Let's see if we can find our little profit calendar for this one. Profit calendar IRA 75, 74. But now we got to go into May. Now, again, this is realized profits, right? So here's April. So let's go into May. 75, 74, profit. Let's do my format painter. Boom, boom. That looks nice. 75, 74, make it all green. And then I'll fix this calendar up later, you know, to, and if y'all want this calendar, it's pretty easy. Just get the calendar and you know, close one a day for profit, put on another one. So what we're going to do now is we're going to basically put on another one, just like the one that we just traded, right? So let's build one out. Let's see. It's always better to build them in tasty words. So let's go over here. And let's build us out a bearish one. All right, so here we go. What will we do? We're going to trade. And we're going to do a long call vertical. No, no, no. We're going to do a long put vertical. Because I'm going to put on a bearish one. So what's a bearish trade? Well, a long put vertical is a bearish trade. So let's find this one. 50 points wide. Down until we get down to about ten dollars. Seventy-five. Bobby, you're a little scattered this morning. I know it. We got family drama going on, but y'all know how it is. So let's see if we can fill that for $10. So that's a bearish trade, right? So let's put us in a bearish trade. Come on, fill me. So let's go to this for 10 and a quarter. Should get filled there. There we go. So we're filled on that. So then to finance the purchase of the debit spread, we're going to sell some calls. So where we're we gonna go? What's that black right there? I don't like that. So generally we could go and sell, you know, this for 2075 or this one, which is just outside the expected move, right? There's the expected move for the next 46 days. Or we could do it as a one one two and come down and maybe do two of these 4540s. I think that's what I'll do. Do two of the 4540s. Collect $22 on that. Good. 
Now, here's the cool thing, right? Is because I need the short deltas and think or swim realizes I need the short deltas, this trade will probably cost zero buying power. Let's see if that's indeed the case. So let's go over here and this one here, and we're going to go build us a trade. So we're going to go, uh-oh, I put that one in the 46 days, didn't I? Darn it, I should have put that in the 59 days. Uh, hmm. You know what? Well, that's fine. Let's just do 46 days. That'll be fine. Kind of goes against my rule, though, doesn't it? I normally go, uh, but it's just a fat figure mistake. I should have gone with 59 days, but that's fine. We'll go 46 days. I'll do the same strikes. So we got to go to the 3850, 3800. 3850, 3800. Heck, I may put two on today. 3850, 3800. So we want to buy this one. I already got one over here, don't I? 3850. And it's fine to buy where you buy and sell where you sold. Right? So we're short here. So there's 1025. And then we sold two of the 4540s. So good to see my little chickens in the yard. My fluffy butts, silky chickens, they just go all over the yard. And my great period, oh, I can't do 45. Yeah. What was it, 4540? Yeah, I can do 4540. So we'll sell four of these 4540s. They're just in the yard. You got to watch when you step in the yard, though, you know? It's a little problem. So see if we get a $13 credit on these. See, buying power effect zero. It's almost like Think or Swim knows, hey, tubs, you're too long. There we go. We got 13 for it. <coughs> All right, let's put this in. All right, so we're going to call this, I guess, bear one one two seven. Seven one two oh one one two bear bear seven, and it was the and I'll show you what we did. The 45, oh, no, 3850, 3850, 3800, 4540. Now, watch. Here's what we did. Everybody, make sure you understand what we did. So, um, see, this is the same thing that Tom and Tony would have done. This is effectively rolling the naked call. So that we were at the 4620 but we rolled it down to the 4540. But we're no dummies. We know what a roll is. A roll is closing a trade and opening another trade, right? So that's rolling down the untested side. That's all we did. So we put this on in both the puts and the calls. This is a 112, a fair 112. 46 days to go. Let's enter this on 5, 2, 22. And we got a credit of $13. So we brought in $59.12. Okay, that's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Questions about that? But you do see that, right? That, that's rolling. That's really just rolling. Taking a profitable trade and rolling the, that's rolling the untested side because it's our put side that's tested. And the cool thing is it uses no additional buying power because we're too long. Our deltas are too long. Think or swim knows it. So they're like, hey, tubs, get in a little bit of uh, negative deltas. All right, so we got that trade in there. So let's put it in its group and then let's go to the other account. So we'll call this 1127, 112 bear seven. Control left, control, 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 one, one, two, bear seven. Move to group. And group. One, one, two, bear seven. 
right. Trade tab, laundry tab. Uh, so there's the trade we just put on. Let's see, copy. Now I'm going to create a duplicate order. That's what we'll do. Y'all show me how to do this. Let's just go to the other account. We know we're going to need it in here, too. So let's just go ahead and do the same trade in the Crimson account. Right? Do the same trade. Let's see if that's changed in. 1275. See if we get 13. And 0 buying power in this account. Probably not going to get failed now. We'll go down to 1275. Dang it. Dash it. Dash it. Whereas my uncle says, deuce it. And if he says, deuce it, that's the worst word he knows. That's what, I don't know what it means. It may be an old timer's word, but when he says, deuce it, friend, you better run. Come on, fail me for 1275. Come on. And believe it, it's going to feel name in the name. Come on, feel before I get down there. Darn it. Doesn't affect the credit that much. Still bringing in what? A little bit less. All right, so let's go put it in on that spreadsheet. So we're finished with this spreadsheet. That's the IRA. Hey, Bobby, have we been checking the SKU driver lately? No, because I got to restart my uh, computer. It's, it's on me, Matt. Do y'all know what it is today? Let's see if I can open my SKU driver. See, that's my that's on me. And that's the only reason I didn't open it, because my SKU driver's not been working. Because I got it. Well, it may work today. Let's see. 6-1. Let's see if it'll work. And I got to restart it. Real quick. Rick, do you have a Rick so here's Rick got a screwdriver today? It was here. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so let's close this to. But I do need to do that. So let's see how bad our account's doing here. Let me put the trade in first. So we got this is the this account. <laughs> so micros. This should be 112 bear seven as well. Let's see if we're there. 112 bear seven. Come on, little fella. 112 bear seven. And we're doing the 3850, 3800, 4540, both. So the Bear one one two with forty six days to go. Hundred yeah. and five two twenty two. And what do we get? Twelve fifty on this one. Created a fifty six sixty two. All right. Let me make sure about everything here. Six fifty six sixty two. Let's make it into the bear seven. Unallocated. Should be just that trade. There we go. One, one, two, bear seven. That's what I need to start doing is just regardless, call them the same thing in both accounts, right? So that way, if I close it in one, I'll know to close it in the other one. That would be the smart thing. Come on, Bob, get it together, dude. One, two. That's y'all remind me to do that. That's what I need to do. Call these things the same thing in each account. One, one, two, bear seven. So we're going to fill for 1250. Let me go look at that again. 1250. Yeah, 5660. All right, so now let's close this something. Hopefully, we've got something in here. And, and the good thing is, if you've got bearish and bullish trades on, you should have something every day that we can close. All right. So let's see what we can close here. <coughs> 112 bear fifth is up 100%. Awesome. $71. 111 bear 75th. No, that's not bear. It's down 268%. One one bear fourth is up 31%. Now negative nine. 119, negative 331. Down 328. Up 121%. Look at that. So that one's the one we'll close. One one two bear six, which I guess is the same thing. 
11168 is gone. So let's clean that out. Delete that group. Now keep it clean. Delete this one because that's gone. All right, so there's the one we're going to close so far. Now, I doubt we got anything above 120%. Check. Down 133%. Down that percent. Here's the one we just put on. One, one, two there. Down 240%. Okay, so here's the one we're going to take off. So we're going to take off one, one, two bear six. And that has those 4620 calls as well. So let's close this spread. Okay, close in order. Oh, that's going up some. Market must be dropping. And then let's add those 4620s here. Buy two of those. 620. Oh, the credit's going up, y'all. But it doesn't make a difference, hardly different that way. All right, so let's close that. Come on. Come on, little fella. Into a place. Got to make it less advantageous to it. So let's go down to 275. Ready? There we go. So we fill for 275. All right. <clears throat> so let's go 275 credit, right? So let's see if this thing is working, if our spreadsheet's working. So we've got a 275 credit on 112 bear six. So credit's got to be negative 2.75. Is that right? So we should have got a credit of 787. I think that's right. Just make sure my spreadsheet's working right. Spreadsheet 275, 787. Yeah, okay. But I hadn't got it plugged in yet, so I got to enter that somewhere else yet. We'll, we'll get it fixed up. So 787 was the credit. So here, the credit is 787 minus 7.87. And I'll take this column out eventually when I get the spreadsheet totally fixed. And we got out on 5 2, 7, 2. And we were in there four days. So we made $76.99. It ain't bad. $76.99. Let's make that green. All right. So let's open my little profit calendar. Let's go to May, $76.99. It's our profit today, $76.99. Let's fix this up. Format painter. We'll fix our format. Ba -do, ba -do. And we've put in a bearish trade, so we're good to go. Oh, gross. Okay. Hmm. Weird. Painter. There. No, that was good. I just went at $76.99 in realized profits today. So we put in a uh, 112 bear seven, which was effectively rolling down the call. Now, what I'm going to look at now is we want to do this. Well, we hadn't done our net lick and stuff yet, have we? Let's see. So we are 5, 2, 22. And our net lick on this one has gone down some too, but probably not as bad as it was. So we are at 26.8159. We're down a little bit. Uh, 8.29 from when we posted uh, the other day. So let's do our groups and ratios. I bet it's still screaming, hey, Bob, you're too long. Get short, D. 
to. But it's hard getting short in the hole. Everybody knows what I mean, right? It's hard getting, getting short in the hole when you're paying, but sometimes you got to. So our deltas are 9706. Ninety-seven oh six, and y'all see how the deltas increase, right, from just where we were the last time. Our theta has probably blossomed because we're not collecting it apparently. One sixty-two fifty-two. Our vega is negative three fifty-four. And our buying power is too much, no doubt. 16467. 16, so we're using 61% of our buying power, and it says we need a negative adjustment on our deltas to be <coughs> delta neutral. Now, let's do this. What I want to do in our closing minutes, and I want to look at the analyze tab, and I want to look at each trade, right? So I've got it on one expiration. I'm going to do MES single symbol, and I need to put this back on two because you can't look at your your group trades unless you have this group, right? So show my groups. All right. So go back over the analyze tab now, and the cool thing is, what's this? You can look at your groups, right? So you can see your one one two bear fit. Right, is looking just fine. Uh, that's a nice trade. We're up $71. If it keeps going down, we could be up big. So let's look at all the rest of them, see if we're really in trouble on anything. Okay, look at this. This is a 11175th. And you know, you're sitting here today going, oh man, life is sucks. No, not really. It, we're down $169 on the trade, but if we can hold in there till expiration, watch what happens. Here's the cool thing, right? If you can, if we can wait in there, where's my little thing where I can advance my days? Yeah. Would that do it? That just advances that. I'm going to advance this, but I don't see my little, where's my little thingy to do? Hold on. Supposed to have a little arrow out here, I thought, where I could advance my days. Oh no. Ah. Do I not have an arrow? Anyway, watch, watch this line here. Watch the purple line. So let's say that we go 10 days from today. Watch that purple line go up. Now see that? So now you're only down $73. Well, what if we go to 517? Let's buy another week. Then boom, you see, you see how the great thing about that trade is now you're up $29 uh, on the trade. If, if, if the market kind of, you know, stays where it is, let's go to 24. Now you see the, the, the issue with these trades. This is why I'm not taking them off y'all. This is why I'm not taking these trades off. In my opinion, they're perfectly safe, especially when we look at, the linear regression, I think probably in the short term, we're kind of done, right? I mean, the market may come down here, but we're probably going to have some bounces along the way. So I think we're okay. So there's no need to panic on these trades. Let's get it back to today, 502, and just look at the rest of them. Okay, so there's 11175th, 112 bear fourth, which looks just fine, 11212. Look at there, y'all. We are in the profit hunt. But Bobby, you fat, black glass wearing, you know, Elton John loving nine toe faster G, we're down 118. Yeah, but look, if we stay within this area, I'm going to be up $328. Even if the market goes down from here, another 5%. I like that. So let's go to 1117. Look. We're in the profit tent, y'all. We're showing loss today of 223, but all I need is a little bit of time. Staying kind of, you know, in the, the zone here, and we're going to be just fine. 
11177th. Look at there. We're at the upper end of the profit zone, down 217, but potentially up 311. That's why I love these trades. All right, we just took that one off. 11174. Look at there, y'all. We're in the profit team. We just need time. We need time in the tent. 112. 112.11th. Looks like we're firmly in profit zone there, right? I mean, it doesn't look like there's hardly anything that could happen. Well, I mean, we could go up and we could start losing money here. But I mean, this is really great, y'all. 11215, look at there. We're at the top of the profit tent. And that's what's great about layering these things on every day, right? Because you're saying, well, we're at the bottom of this profit tent, but we're putting other profit tents down, down below this if the market continues to go down. So see, we're firmly in the profit tent, down $179, but with a great potential to get close to that $323. That's why I'm not taking them off. So y'all don't panic on these things. Look at this, y'all. We could go down another 5%. And I'm perfectly safe. This is the beauty of this trade. This is the beauty. So here's another one. This is why we layer. We're at the top of the profit team. We can still go down, you know, almost what, 8% and be totally fine. Yeah, don't, don't start taking these things off too early. Give them time. Because remember, these tents really don't pop up with the profit until at the end of the trade. So we're down $62. Oh, so it's terrible. Yeah, but we're at the top of the portion of the tent to where if we can just stay here or even go down 5%. We're going to have a 5% drop in the market. As long as we stay within this area here, we're fine. We're going to make that $300 potentially. One, two, four, ten. Look at this. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. All right. So let's see what they all look like. Let's go to uh, four expirations. Right. And what do we have as far as expirations on these trades? Let's look. How many expirations are we in? So we are in one expiration, two expirations. We're only in two expirations. Wow. And see, right down here is where these things become really, really potent. So we got 29 days and 46 days. So let's go back to the Analyze tab and let's look at our trade. So four expirations and let's show single symbol, all groups. Okay. So <clears throat> now today, crap, we're down $1,575. If we stay here, look at these numbers over here. If we stay at this level, by June the 1st, what is down $1,500 will be up $3,200. $3, and on June 18th, we're up $3,600. Now, here's the cool part. What's this? So we're, if we can stay to June 1st, we'll be up $3,200. What's what happens if the market goes down 5%? And we expire there, we're up $2,050. Isn't that cool? Now, June 18th, it says we're at 3996 there. Look at that. And see, this little expiration thing for the June 18th just keeps going up. See how we got that nice little profit tent? <gasps> but, Bobby, if it went there today, you're down $9,000, $8,000. I got it. I got it. But look how great that is. I love that. If we go up June 1st, we're up $1,800 there on what is down, what, $1,500, $1,600 today? This is what we want, y'all. This is what we want. So let's go over to Tasty Works. They make it a little easier to see. So Tasty Works, let's go trade curve analysis tab. Let's see where we're at over here. Yeah. But, you know, here's the problem. You look at today, you know, where we are today, and here's this number. Dang, we're down, you know, Two thousand something dollars. That's fine, because if we expire within this tent, we're going to be up six thousand six hundred dollars. Look at that. That's why you don't give up on this trade too long. <gasps> but Bobby, one of them's down two hundred. Shut up. Quit looking at the 
the the tree look at the forest and the forest is very healthy look at that we are in the profit hump y'all we're in the profit hump so what we're going to do is is if the market keeps going downward what are we going to do we're going to put stuff on on this side to push the whale the profit whale that looks like a whale we're going to push him down we're going to continue pushing him down we're going to put pressure on him and kind of push him down so this is why you don't give up. Here's the, the today line, the T0 line, you're down. But when we get closer to expiration, you're up $6,500. Well, Bobby, if the market goes down, though, you could have tremendous losses down here. Exactly. But what we're going to do is we're going to keep rolling the untested side. Y'all know, know what to do. You know what to do. Roll the untested side down. And we're doing that by the entire trade. So it's a, it's a beautiful trade, y'all. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Any questions before we go? But if you're looking at your net lit, you know, you're like, crap, man. The whole world's moving money. I know. Patience. Patience. If we've got patience and we stay anywhere within this humongous area, then we're going to be rewarded greatly. So that's the plan. All right, guys, hang in there. Hope you have a great day. I will see y'all tomorrow.